called the fat pitch and it is this method is courtesy of my main man Steve Stewart out there in Chicago doing his thing Agathon baby but anyway um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how we can use this method to find our way back into stocks that are being sold off especially um, when there's a scary situation like we have the subprime uh, you know mess going on right now there's money to be made and we're gonna make it I'm gonna show you how alright so strap yourself let's do this now always start with a two-year weekly chart and I'm gonna show you why because what you want is you want to find previous high-flying stocks that are being sold off you don't want to go and find stocks that are beaten up and now they are being sold off again you want to find former high flyers that are just going through a short-term correction okay very important get the best uh, track the best stocks when they are when they are sold hard that is when you should pay attention to them and then the thing you want to watch for absolutely critical is you really want to pay attention to the RSI you don't want the RSI closing above or closing below 50 you want it to be around 50 and to move back up that is a absolute minimum requirement the stock must not on a weekly basis uh, close way below this 50 mark because this is where you know when you're above 50 you're bullish and then when you're below 50 you turn bearish so we want stocks that are being sold off they touch that line around there and they move back up now that is a must-have minimum requirement a lot of people have tried this method and they you know with, with some kind of you know limited success because they did not understand this you want a high-flying stock being sold off but the stock refuses to turn into a bearish situation very important that's the weekly that's pretty much it on the weekly okay so two year weekly make sure the RSI is above stays above above 50 let me take you to the daily on the daily there's gonna be a lot of indicators here but they are all fun I have them in bold so I don't have to repeat myself you can always pause the player and you know uh, take notes if you have to but well, we have a couple of indicators we got the Williams percentage R the ULT indicator right there on the day again we are looking at a one year daily chart we start with the weekly go with the daily because we are looking for a short term bounce it is always best if you can find a stock that is around the 200 day moving average because this it's no secret man institutions just are in love with building their positions around this area so the 200 day moving average is not a magical number it's just something everybody's watching and it works that's just how it is you know can't avoid it so you find stocks are already testing that level and um, another thing I think if you go back I might go back to the weekly chart and show you that the stock was also um, there was some support I'm gonna show it here come on now Eric all right see that buy point there find for try and find support levels in the within the stock you see when the stock broke out above that price this was the buy point and it's come back to retest that level so not only ha do you have the 200 day moving average offering support you have support coming from a previous buy point which has now turned into a support level okay very important that you if you can find some other reasons why the stock should bounce uh, previous buy points turning into current support very important so there was some indication even on the daily and you'll see it on the daily. you might want to go back at the end of this uh, in a short video and check the weekly chart you'll see that there was some uh, weekly support around this level here okay so we have those two indicators the William percentage are the, the ULT indicator and then we have volume we have the RSI again on this on the requirements we have the uh, full stall we have the slow stall and I think I might just have to scroll down my player here and last but not least hey where is that stuff we have the MACD right don't forget the normal MACD that's what I was looking for okay so 
you want the all this to turn around turn around on the on the slow stop turn around on the full stop you want your uh, your RSI to hit 30 preferably bounce back if you can find evidence prior in the chart like in this situation where there was a uh, the, where the stock hit a low and turned around below 30 you are probably at another indication that the stock does pay attention to support oversold levels so you want to see an area of, of us previous prior support around the 30 level on the on the daily RSI and support on the 30 level currently on the daily RSI um, you I always um, want the stock to start moving up on heavy volume that's when you get your indication not only are these indicators turning around like here we are not ready but we are getting close to here we've already turned around and now we just need to continue moving higher below and this is below the 20 level area below the 20 level area on the full stall on the slow stall okay RSI above 30 you want that to start turning around you want it to start you know it's below 30 and then you want it to do to do that all right good now and then you want volume to pick up you want above average volume right there on the first day of a turnaround uh, signs of a turnaround and then you want it to bounce off that and then you also want the ULT to start moving higher on this particular situation you see there was already some positive divergence here so you want this to hit a low probably around the 30 level area and move back up on that area in that region and then you always want the William percentage R to hit under 80 an area of oversold and bouncing back up so all this turn around and you're ready to go in the next chart I'm gonna show you is an a day after the prior chart and this is what happened you see BAM turn around right there turn around uh, moving back up around the 50 level area on the ULT ultimate oscillator volume big spike in price again right here we see a big spike in volume like I said the RSI jumps above uh, you know 30 and moves back up that's what you want the full store finally does shows huge uh, crossover and the slow store shows a strong crossover so that's what you want that's what you look for you get in and you see what happens uh, let me see whether there's another chart. I think there should be one more showing one two three take two Chick. action okay we are back again uh, so now uh, what I did I just fast forwarded the prior chart on the daily on the daily right there so now we are looking at a chart you know six months ahead of um, where we were this line right here that's going down is uh, showing us what where we what we were looking at in the before chart so this is what happened within three months we were up 190 percent um, from that point there let's let me just take you down so we can see that you know we had our crossover um, RSI here high right there crossover there on the on the full stall and a crossover there also you notice that the MACD did finally turn around so everything was aligned in this particular situation um, so that's how that's what we call the fat pitch and the fat pitch is the name of this method and it's by my man let me just write that for you we call this the fat pitch yeah and the fat pitch is by my man Steve whoops Steve Stewart all right big ups to you buddy thanks for sharing and for letting me use your method I'm wishing you all the best as always this is Eric Moade hey Steve up in Chicago baby take care and good luck to you let's go out there and get us some bargains peace and blessings <laughs>